going to talk a little bit about measuring tools and one of the more versatile measuring tools that we use in the automotive industry is a dial caliper and this particular particular unit is incremented in one thousandths of an inch so each one of those little lines represents one thousandths of an inch expressed as point zero zero one you'll notice that the caliper is closed all the way and I am not zeroed on my scale so almost all the dial calipers you see will have a little thumb screw down here and you can turn the scale make sure it reads zero tighten the screw and you are ready to begin you also have a lock on the slide up here so you always want to make sure that's loose when you are traversing the jaws and I'm going to start by taking a couple of measurements and showing you the capabilities of this tool so I'll start with this reamer and if I wanted to measure the diameter of the shank I would just simply put it between the jaws bring them close and I start on this scale and you can see that it is obviously less than an inch it's I can see the two and that's two tenths so that's point two and if I look on my thousandth scale I'm at fifty thousandths so the measurement here would be 0.25 which is a quarter inch. One of the other things I can do with this particular tool is I can measure an inside diameter and this square hole I'll take these jaws I'll stick them in here and I am slightly under four tenths of an inch and it looks like I am at about 0.37 just over 375, 376. And lastly, if I wanted to measure the depth of this particular bore, as I traverse the jaws, you'll notice that I have a gauge that comes out. I would stand that up and I could measure the depth of that hole. And I could view that as six tenths and about 0.6 and I would say that's 3.1 so that's 631 thousandths of an inch all right so I'm going to talk a little bit about my 0 to 1 inch micrometer with a vernier scale and I'm going to measure a ball bearing this is a good tool for doing something like that and I know this is less than one inch so I've selected the right micrometer I'll open it up I will insert the ball bearing and I have I have it in there and I am turning the thimble just to set the correct pressure on it and if I look at my scale I can clearly see I am bigger than one tenth of an one tenth which is Point 0.1 I can see the 25 the 50 and the next line after the 50 would be the 75 and I can see that but I am past the 75 I am actually at so the 12 so it's 0.175 plus 0 0.012 so my reading is 0 0.187 and if I look over here to the vernier scale, what I'm trying to do is see which lines line up. Not looking at the numbers, just looking for the lines to line up. And in this case, the 2 seems to line up with this number here on the thimble. So I would say that's 2 ten thousandths of an inch. So my final reading in this case would be 0 0.1872. And most micrometers have a lock on them and that's what this is that prevents the thimble from turning so I always want to make sure that's unlocked and we'll measure something a little bigger it's a little easier to handle we'll measure the shank of this drill so I'm going to insert it slightly put some pressure on it turn the thimble try to center it and we can clearly see that we are pointing.